Hey, Dr. Dan Kaz here, and welcome to my three-minute physiology. So we had a case this morning in my mentorship advanced clinical rounds call when the doctors presented of a patient of hers who was a female whose hair fell out because she had overdosed on progesterone. And guess what? She ran a simple salivary lab test to figure all this out. The doctor in my mentorship program put the patient on a detoxification protocol, as I instructed her to do, to get all that progesterone out of her system. Three, four months later, her hair is growing back. Happy patient, problem averted. Simple solution. Any of your female hormone patients that are taking progesterone cream have to be monitored at least once a year to see what their progesterone levels are like. If you're gonna take a hormone, you have to monitor it. You go to Rupa, go into their little catalog area, the lab catalog, click on the female hormone section, click on the salivary test tab, and boom, it'll pop up with salivary hormone testing for progesterone anywhere from 50, 60 bucks for the cheaper ones, up to two, three, four hundred dollars depending on how many hormones you wanna test. And the least that you should do is screen for progesterone, if not the other hormones as well. And you will find many of your patients that are taking progesterone cream are high in progesterone and really need to be careful about what they're doing. So again, any hormone needs to be monitored. You can easily monitor uh, the use of progesterone cream with a simple salivary hormone test from Rupa, and it doesn't even cost that much money. One more little tidbit here on progesterone, just because we're talking about progesterone. It's not just that progesterone is a female hormone that can help with your fertility cases and your PMS cases and these kinds of things. It's a neuroprotectant. So progesterone protects, heals, soothes, and rejuvenates the brain in both men and women. It's a wonderful hormone. I have used it for 31 years with great success in tens of thousands of patients. You just have to do the testing to make sure that make sure that you're on track and that you're doing the right thing. All right, thanks for listening. I'll catch you next time. Thanks.